picture of David Robinson, the man who had been the Spurs cornerstone since 1989. David has defined this franchise. His personality, his desire, love for the game, he really has made this franchise a ball ball. on 2K Sports. Go. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. We'll see the New Orleans Pelicans take it on the San Antonio Spurs. CJ And McCollum slams it in. Outstanding decision making by Ingram there, working it to the open man. Really good possession. Here's Duncan. And Valanciunas over to help. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williamson. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Jonas Valanciunas. Exactly. The defense determines not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll first settle for team. making him earn the free throws. And both free throws good for Robinson. And it's New Orleans ball. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. Pass to Valanciunas. Down low. Ooh, they pick off the pass. Inside. About a minute played here so far in the first. Here's Elliott. Can't get it to drop. Now New Orleans takes it the other way. To the middle. Here's McCollum. Robinson with the block. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. The shot from 20 feet out. That one a little long. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. To the paint. Here's Williamson. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Robinson. Shakes him. Yeah, I like the interior game of Robinson. He really does a nice job with getting deep position and then going to work. McCullum outside. Pass to Jones. There's the drive. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCullum. Just a great combo guard. McCullum is capable of being a go-to scorer as well as a terrific distributor. Now here's Robinson. And the layup is good. Robinson's got his second bucket of the night. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. McCollum with it, and Johnson picks him up defensively. Back to McCollum. Pass to Jones. Shot clock at five. Here's Valanciunas. Robinson with the block. here in the first about three minutes in and the lamp is good off the glass seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots his vision x two minutes and here's ingram pass to williamson no good that time san antonio goes the other way with it They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. McCullum on the wing. Valanciunas with it. To the inside. Jones. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Duncan. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Outside Johnson. Robinson in the post. And the shot's good. Robinson's got 10. 
But D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Pass to Williamson. Over to the left wing. The three from Valanciunas. And again, New Orleans, no good. He's got to take a back seat right now. When you're ice cold, you can't just keep gunning. And Valanciunas over to help. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Pelicans ball. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Pass to Ingram. Now here's Valanciunas. And the Pelicans miss again. All alone from mid-range. You've got to think he's kicking himself. And a big finish by Robinson. From Avery Jackson. And the Admiral, David Robinson, a big-time threat to dunk it down. Can't give this 7-foot-1 center any room down low. And so it's San Antonio. Great shots. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. Here's Duncan. It's so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. I tell you what, you hate to be the guy having the responsibility of guarding him. Confronting a shooter of JV stature is never easy, and he can make them pay for that mistake at the line. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for San Antonio. San Antonio. Boy, guys, their play in the low post has been excellent right off the bat. Here's Elliott. Connects from downtown. You know, Tim Duncan does a nice job, especially when one of his guys is open. That floor awareness of his, dime drop. The kick out to Nance. Back to Graham. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Robinson with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. They trail by nine. Pelicans ball. Del Negro out to the wing. Elliott. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Elliott, man, what a stroke. Sean Elliott, an athletic forward who feels comfortable shooting from here. David Robinson. That's his second personal foul. Now approaching second two minutes of action five. here in the second. Here's Graham. Rebounded by Del Negro. Fires for three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Here's Graham. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And you know, in my opinion, Graham needs to focus on being more consistent. Raising those shooting percentages, I think, goes a long way to his development. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Down low. Pass to Del Negro. Here's the three. On target from Ray. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Hernan Gomez gets the bucket. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Oh, it's stolen. 
Pass to Marshall. Here's Hernan Gomez. Here's Nance. Six to shoot. Now here's Graham. Over to the wing. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. Spurs ball. On offense, here is San Antonio. They're on a 15 to six run. Pass to Elliott. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Well, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. To the wing on the left. Here's Marshall. It's hauled in by Robinson. Here's Elliott. Shot from the wing. Doesn't fall. Now four for six. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Pass to Johnson. Let's go with a three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. His three-point mechanics have been flawless. Get him a clean look from deep, and he'll bury it. Count it. Larry Nance Jr. Nance has got his first bucket in this one. Doesn't have to break his momentum at all to catch the pass. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Boy, the Pelicans have really had a tough go here. The kick out to Nance. Intercepted! And Devontae Graham is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Inside. First. Pass to Del Negro. No good with the triple. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. And here's Valanciunas. It's hauled in by Robinson. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. A great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Out to McCullum. Back to Williamson. Just three on the clock. Robinson with the block. And through one half in, and we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. Here's New Orleans. Pass to Valentunas. Rebounded by the Spurs. Here's Burton. Got a piece of it. Jackson on the wing. Takes the three. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. And no good. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Starting slow in this half. 0 for 3 so far. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's McCollum. There's the block. They retain possession. Fires the 3. They grab their own miss. Pass to Ingram. Here's Jones. Now here's Ingram. McCullum outside. San Antonio. And the foul on Jaron Jackson. Jaron Jackson. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. And Williamson throws it down. Williamson. Oh, the motor of Williamson is special. Awesome at staying engaged and hitting the offensive glass. 
from the arc. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Outside for Ingram. The ball's knocked loose. And there's the drive. And he makes it on the layup. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Pass to McCullum. Three-pointer. Gets the three ball to go. McCollum's got his second basket on the night. <laughs> With confidence and ability from long range, I love it. McCollum's able to space the floor and keep the defense honest. Here's Burton. Offensive rebound, Spurs. Back to Brown. Here's Burton. Shot clock at six. Spurs need to get one up here. Here's Person. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. McCollum into the lane. Basket's good. CJ McCollum's got five points in the quarter. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit, but it has to be a team effort. There's a minute 34 left in the third. Pass to Person. With the seven-footer. And rejected. Yeah, that shot didn't stand a chance. Can't sleep on JV's monstrous reach. And here's Ingram from the arc. Brandon and the Ingram. Pelicans hit again from deep. Well, they're on the right path now, but still in a pretty big hole. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. And the Spurs with possession here. They have a 19-point lead. Here's Robinson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Robinson's got 14 points. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Now here's Ingram. He's got five. Clock at six. McCullum with it. And Johnson picks him up defensively. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Here's McCullum. He has seven. And this offensive surge is just what they needed right now. Yeah, it's still a big hill to climb. I mean, it was essential that they at least made some kind of dent in that lead before we got to the fourth quarter. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk. There's 10 seconds left in the third. Pass to Duncan. Over Williamson. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so the San Antonio... On offense, here is San Antonio. 19-point game. Pass to Duncan. Right side, Robinson. Here's Del Negro. Covered by Ingram. Out to the right wing. Just five on the clock. Elliott with the bucket. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. It's good. Soft interior D. And they've exploited it. Pass to Duncan. Banked it in off the glass. And you know, Duncan is an incredible talent. He's a menace on the block. Exceptional at scoring deep inside. 
Shots good by McCollum. CJ McCollum. McCollum's got nine points now in the second half. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. To the middle. A nice shot by Duncan. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. Here's Valanciunas. Jonas Valanciunas. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Here's Duncan. Throws it down, and the official calls a foul. It may be a three-point play. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Spurs. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. Another thing, they've not only caused a bunch of turnovers tonight, they've turned most of them into points. Now here's McCollum. Kept alive. Pass to Valanciunas. Robinson with the block. Out of bounds. Out of Pelicans bounds. ball as New Orleans keeps Pelicans possession. Ball. Here's Ingram. And it's good. Man, Off the back rim and in. Well, you look at the form on Ingram's catch-and-shoot jumpers. It's um, textbook. He's got excellent posture. His hands are in a good position. And most importantly, he's ready to shoot it when he catches it. Robinson can't hit. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. McCullum's shot is off. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Pass to Elliott. To the paint. Here's Del Negro. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Precision pass into the post. Well-earned assist. Well, back in 2017, the league adjusted the odds to the lottery. How do you like the change? I really love it. I mean, instead of drawing the top three, it's now the top four adding to the randomness and giving another team a chance to be in that mix for the top pick. And evening out the odds has produced some shockers, too. New Orleans getting Zion was one of them. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. That's his first, man, first he made ball. sure to get his money's second worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And here's McCollum. Inside. Williamson. Deflected! To the middle. Here's Duncan. Williams grabs the board. And the Pelicans with possession here. Out and out of bounds. San Antonio will have it. Ball. A minute 37 left in the fourth quarter of this one. New Orleans. Well, with everything else that coaches have been dealing with, the NBA gave them a pass to skip the suit and tie, Clark. You think broadcasters are next? No, I would love that, B.A. I don't mind dressing up in a sweatsuit, but I know TV requires a coat and tie. But I would love on occasion to have a dress-down day if we could. Pass to Williamson. Here's Valanciunas. Tries again. Robinson with the block. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. So that'll be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. No good on the free throw. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace the team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. An elite score, demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Outside Ingram. Now here's McCollum. Left side Jones. Just five to shoot. 
to halt the run. Out to McCullum. Shoots over Johnson. McCullum's shot is off. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Del Negro. Now Johnson. Now Robinson. Covered by Ingram. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's his first That's foul his of the game. We're in the bonus ball. now, and they'll go to the line. Team foul. And he sinks the second. There's 14 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Out to McCullum. Pass to Valanchunas. Back to Ingram. Looking to end this cold spell. No good there. And so it's San Antonio easily grabbing this one. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it too. We saw the outstanding...